My bike is just gone. I'm done. I'm done. It's a one log house. A one log house. <laughs> a whole house in a log. I, mean, I wonder if I can go inside. Put them home. So I don't know if I'm going to pay to go into the log house, but I will walk through the little garden. Step out into the patio and look at the rolling hills while the cows graze across the pasture. <laughs> up at another store tomorrow but I'm in this Indian reservation with one of the casinos and reported it to the sheriff and they actually told me on the, the security guy actually said that oh we might actually have him on camera I think it might be across the street I'm like you know who did this you think you know who did this if this had happened in Los Angeles they would be like all right bye bye you're not seeing that bike again we'll make a report about it so that they might actually have it right across the street. Wouldn't that be amazing if they just knew who took it and just went over there with like, oh, it's Junior again, and they just took it. Just went over there and got it back. If I actually got my bike back today, I want to hug him. I 
I'm just amazed that they actually knew who it was. You should have seen my reaction. I didn't want to, my first reaction to be filmed. It's, it's, it's livid. I shouldn't take it personally, but I do. Who steals from a young lady? <laughs> sort of amazed when he said that he actually might be able to get it back. Because in my mind, I was like, oh, it's just gone. What do I do? Do I have to put the bike inside every night? They broke like two different locks. How do you keep it break proof? And whatever. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm going to get it back and it's going to be all vandalized and scratched up. Anyway. I don't want to fucking use it anymore. I'm going to slash the tires and be like, here, you can have it back now. security footage like I'm some sort of detective or something <laughs> I was gonna like ask for this security footage track watch him <laughs> I'm like maybe you can see him getting out of his car and you can see the license plate <laughs> doing all this detective work <laughs> we're in Humboldt County have you guys seen that thing on Netflix it's one it's one of those shows well, they can paint it however they want, but I think it's actually how they, I think it's the one where they have a mountain. That's what the locals call it. Because a lot of the weed is grown up here, and even though it's legal, it's still sort of crazy up here on this, in this county for some reason. I gotta rewatch the show because I completely forgot most of it. I just remember being blown away and being like, what? This shit really happens up there? So. If I remember any of the characters' names from the show, I'd be like, oh my god, it was Blah 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 who did it. <laughs> Breakfast and waiting for the sheriff. For him to tell me my bike is gone. My bike was stolen this morning. I reported it to the sheriff to see if he maybe knew who had it. It's a small town. And he told me that he did maybe know to go up to the pawn shops. So, I'm going up to the pawn shop to look for my own bike. Because that's what the sheriff told me to do. And I get so excited if I actually find it there. 